The History of Corpus Christi and Trinidad and Tobago Today, we delve into the captivating history of Corpus Christi and Trinidad and Tobago. Join us as we uncover the origins and evolution of this religious feast, showcasing the island's enduring faith. Our story begins with the arrival of Spanish colonizers in Trinidad and Tobago in 1498. Along with their presence came the introduction of Catholicism and the sacred celebration of Corpus Christi. This religious feast centered around the belief in the Eucharist, quickly found a place in the hearts of the early settlers. The Spanish settlers organized solemn processions, publicly displaying their devotion to the body of Christ, Corpus Christi. As the 18th century unfolded, Trinidad and Tobago came under British colonial rule. The islands experienced a cultural transformation with the arrival of African slaves and Indian indentured laborers. Corpus Christi, already deeply ingrained in the religious fabric, began to fuse with elements from diverse cultures. Fast forward to the present day, and Corpus Christi has evolved into a grand public holiday celebrated in Port of Spain, San Fernando, Scarborough, and other parishes across the country. The festivities blend religious devotion, community bonding, and artistic expression into an awe-inspiring celebration. Planting crops on Corpus Christi has cultural and historical significance in some regions, including Trinidad and Tobago. The practice of planting crops on this day is rooted in agricultural traditions and is believed to be associated with the agricultural cycle and the blessing of the harvest. In agricultural communities, Corpus Christi falls during a time when the planting season is underway or nearing its peak. The celebration of Corpus Christi often coincides with a period of favorable weather conditions and the availability of water resources for irrigation. Therefore, it became customary for farmers to take advantage of this auspicious time and symbolically bless their crops by planting or tending to them on this religious feast day. The act of planting crops on Corpus Christi is seen as a way to invoke divine blessings and protection over the crops, ensuring a bountiful harvest. It is considered an expression of faith and a way to incorporate religious rituals into agricultural practices. By aligning their agricultural activities with a religious celebration, farmers seek spiritual support and a favorable outcome for their harvest. Additionally, planting crops on Corpus Christi may also serve as a reminder of the connection between humanity and the natural world. It highlights the dependence on the land and its resources for sustenance and livelihood. The act of planting crops becomes an act of stewardship, recognizing the role of humans in cultivating and caring for the Earth's bounty. While the practice of planting crops on Corpus Christi is not universal and may vary across different regions and cultures, it represents a blending of religious devotion and agricultural traditions, emphasizing the significance of the harvest and the intertwining of faith and farming in the lives of agricultural communities. Thank you for joining us on this captivating journey through the history of Corpus Christi and Trinidad and Tobago. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on our future historical explorations.